I am Anil Kumar and in this video we are going to discuss about oblique asymptotes of rational function. The question is determine equation of oblique asymptote and second part of this question is discuss how the end behavior of the function is related with the oblique asymptote. So there are two parts to this and function which we are going to work with is x cube plus 8 divided by x square plus 9. Now as you note degree of numerator is one higher right since degree of numerator which is the top part right is one higher than that of denominator that is the bottom part of the rational function it leads to oblique asymptote. Right? So that is the basic condition. Now, how to find the equation? How to find the equation? Can you tell me that? Technique to find the equation is divide. Right? So, to find equation, of oblique asymptote what should we do divide so let us divide divide the numerator by denominator well there are a few missing terms so we'll put the placeholders there right so this is an interesting example so we get x cube plus 0 x square x is also missing so 0 x plus 8 so this is to be divided by x square plus 9 so x square plus 0x plus 9. Now let us divide this and try to get our answer. So x squared and x cubed, we have to take three terms. We have to multiply by x, right? So let me write x here. So what do we get? So we get x cubed plus 0x squared plus 9x. When we take away, we will get this is 0. And here we get minus 9x plus 8. Now we cannot divide, correct? So when we divide, we get our equation as x, correct? So that gives us oblique asymptote. So, so equation for oblique asymptote is, let me write OA, equation, the quotient which is x, correct? Let me rewrite this in the quotient form. So let me rewrite here itself. This equation could be written as x and that's the denominator, so plus minus 9x plus 8 divided by x squared plus 9, correct? So oblique asymptote is this equation of linear function, which is y equals to x. So that is the oblique asymptote we had been looking for. Now in this diagram, here we have this equation y equals to x. So we get the first part, that is how to find oblique asymptote. Just divide the numerator by denominator. Quotient is your oblique asymptote, right? So we get that. Now let's understand the end behavior. Now what happens in this particular equation, we have y equals to x plus minus 9x plus 8 divided by x squared plus 9. Now, if x is very large positive value, then what happens? This denominator is positive. However, in the numerator, we have minus 9 times large value. So, we get a negative value, correct? So, y approaches x, but from bottom. So, it is less than x. So, this is what you see, right? That is your oblique asymptote and the function is below the line, right? So it is approaching the line, but a distance away, a constant kind of a distance away. So it is under the curve. But if x is approaching minus infinity, that is on this side, in that case, minus and minus becomes plus. So y approaches x from the positive side, from the top side. So that is how it is. And I hope this sketch helps you to understand the whole concept, right? So that is how the oblique asymptote is. Go through this video, try to understand the concept. 
So we have a couple of examples in this set of videos. Try to do them on your own. Thank you and all the best.